Explain to us the goal of Agenda PAC in comparison to, say, the Victory Fund PAC. So I will tell you this. When Clarence Thomas came out with that concurrent opinion, I think we all felt the earth shake because not only did you see this radical court be willing to throw out Roe, right? We're talking about 50-plus years women in this country have had that basic right. And then you also have Justice Thomas just laying out in very plain terms, all the other groups and communities in basic and sacred rights that he wants to look at uh, taking away next. And so that shook me to my core. Somebody who just got married in, in, in February. Um, and so a part of what we said was, how can we actually be in a position to be full-time focused on going after bigots, on beating beatable bigots all across the country, on actually taking the fight to these people that want to roll back the clock and put us in a position where we have fewer rights in the next 50 years than we had in the previous 50. And so I think that we saw that there was really um, a hole that we could fill in terms of being 100% focus on beating those beatable bigots everywhere. And you know what? Our, the, our friends at uh, Victory Fund are doing incredible work, but sometimes the folks who are most, uh, who represent a great threat to LGBTQ folks, in some instances, they're not running against gay candidates. And Doug Mastriano is a perfect example of somebody who is an incredible threat to not just the future of Pennsylvania, but to the country because of where Pennsylvania sits in the political ecosystem.